Are we getting closer to a nuclear showdown? Since the end of World War II, the number one priority for almost every American president has been to avoid a war with the Russians. Everyone understands that war between the US and Russia, the two biggest nuclear powers, would mean the end of the world. Still, we have come awfully close to it happening, such as in the 1960s when the US discovered that the Soviets were sending long-range missiles to Cuba. But luckily at the time, we had JFK, one of America's most admired and youngest presidents, who de-escalated the situation and opted to reach a compromise with the Soviets rather than listen to the intelligence agencies pushing him towards war. But today, America's oldest elected and least popular president is taking the opposite approach. Biden recently admitted that the, quote, prospect of Armageddon hasn't been this close since that Cuban Missile Crisis. But rather than seeking an off-ramp, this administration is getting us closer to a war. And this is insane. You probably don't know this because it was barely covered by the US media, but there was actually a peace deal close to being accepted between Russia and Ukraine a few months ago. The Ukrainian press even admitted this. But then the UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson, backed up by NATO and the US, shot down the peace deal and told the Ukrainian president that he must not negotiate with the Russians. So the war has continued and now Ukraine is saying that they're going to seek NATO membership, which would mean the US would by definition be in a war with Russia and Putin in response has threatened going nuclear if that happens. So we really are reaching a point of no return and it's time to demand that our leaders stop the warmongering and start figuring out ways to go back to the negotiation table before it's too late. Our future literally depends on it.